Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is Deliverance Church Mikidani. I am Pastor Robert Gatia, Deliverance Church Mikidani, the senior pastor. And by, the God, by God's grace, we are gathered again on another Sunday. We are yet to meet physically in our churches, and we are trusting God that we are going to do so very soon. We are working out on modality, and that we are going to work them out. If we have waited for three months, we can wait for, a, for another one week or so. And to the glory of God, we care about you, we care for you, we care for your children. We, care. We, are in, we, are, we are happy for you, and we want to have you for a long time so that we can be able to do the work and, the, and, and to do the work and, and fulfill the assignment that God has called us to assign to fulfill in this land. I want you to know this is another this is another Sunday and I want you to understand we are the first Sunday of the month of, uh, of, of, of the month of August this is the month of August and I'm talking to us that this is the month of possessing new land we shall possess new land and we can see it on the on the on, on the screen we are possessing new land i will give you every place where you are uh, where you set your foot as i promised moses as i promised Moses. the promises of god are yes and amen and in the month of august God is giving us new land. We shall get into the new land. We shall start online businesses. We shall open up new companies. We shall process. We shall be elevated and promoted in the place of our work. We shall go into agri, agri business. We shall get there. We shall be in many places. We shall win soul uh, from uh, even even through through all all uh, all all dimensions of ministry in the name of the Lord. I want us to pray that we have the praise and worship team blessing us and. And then from there we share the word of the Lord. Remember, we are still dealing with stopping the accuser. We shall stop every accuser that have accused you, that have, that have gunned up to fight you. We shall handle them and deal with them by God's grace and mercy. God is so faithful that he has called us to be his servant and we will continue to be faithful and we see what God can do. You are blessed from the top of your head to the toe of your feet. You will never walk alone and you will never be alone in the name of the Lord. Our Father and our God, I want to thank you for this beautiful Sunday, the second of, uh, the second day of August 2020. I commit this month into your heart. Lord, in the realm of the Spirit, I cancel every negative pronouncement that have been made against, the, against this man, demonically concerning my life. I, dis, I scatter the works of darkness. I silence evil voices. I am I release an anointing that, Lord, break every yoke. And according to your word, we enter the land. In heavenly armor, we enter the land. And, Lord, we do know that you give us victory. Every, every blessing that bears our name in the month of August, we release it to locate us without any delay, without any contradiction, without any confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. Demonic, demonic bureaucracies that are been set in the realm of the spirit to frustrate us and to ashamed and embarrass us. We come against you. We approve you from your setup in the name of the Lord and we defeat your operation in Jesus' name. And by the anointing of the Holy Spirit we cancel every evil sentiment that have been made against this man. We refuse to die. We refuse to be frustrated. We refuse to give up. We refuse to be confused in the name of Jesus Christ we release an anointing that destroy that, that destroy sicknesses destroy diseases destroy evil sentiment in the name of Jesus we pray for our members or uh, the members of the church or wherever they are we cover them with the blood of Jesus we declare this is the Sunday that the Lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it and under the anointing of the Holy Ghost we pray for divine victory we pray for divine favor in the name of of Jesus Christ. We declare the month of August is our month of possessing new ground and new land. And we enter in our new land and we declare the devil is a liar. We get to a Lord, we decree, we are blessed. This being our prayer in Jesus' name, so shall it be. Amen and amen. What a blessed opportunity to have you. The month of August is our month of, of, of possessing
possessing new land. This man, you shall possess new land. I don't know which is your new land. I don't know what is your new land. I don't know where your new land is. But one of the things I know, you shall possess new land. You will have a testimony of getting into a new level or getting into a new favor in the name of the Lord. Before we continue with our service, I want to invite our praise and worship so that they can be a blessing to us and then we shall continue from there and the Lord will minister to us. Welcome, share this on your on, 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 your, on, your, on your Facebook, uh, start a watch party and share with your friend in Jesus' name.
Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are here. We continue with the word of the Lord. I know you have your pen. I know you have your notebook. And I know you are listening to me. You have already started sharing with your people. We are here today in the name of the Lord. I'm glad that you are on board. You will never be disappointed to be in the presence of the Lord. I want to be sharing with us about stopping the accuser. And I say that in this life, if you're doing something that is impacting life, if you are doing something that is important, if what you are doing is possible, it will have it will have it, it will have to be uh, to be stopped it will have to be fought it will have to you will be accused of people because there is a spirit in the air there is a spirit in the environment that hate progress and hate successful people and in particular when you are successful alone when you touch something and it will work and there are other people are touching it and not working you will attract enemies you will attract opposers you will attract negative sentiment and many battles can be fought and we can look and we can look at the example from the bible many 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 is uh, many 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 examples in the bible but today i want to talk to us about uh about accusation somebody who goes beyond accusation that even if you accuse him your accusation will be futile and you have not you will not succeed in your mission and this is i want you to i want to show this is our last part of our of our five series of, of stop the accuser or stop the accuser the accusers if you have been developed if you have been if you have grown to be an accuser we will stop you today and i am telling you today as a servant of god that there are people that are above accusation you are you waste time when you accuse them and you are in fact when you accuse them you are advertise them you make them more popular and more known and more and and, and, and more advertised and i want us to look at a scripture that is in the book of Psalms chapter 31 and verses 20. Psalms chapter 31 and verses 20. This is what the Bible says. I want you to read the scripture. This is a very powerful scripture. You can forget any other thing I would say today, but don't forget this one. From the book of Psalms chapter 31 and verses 20. It can be your memory verse for accusers. You can put it as one of your word, one of your verse for the month of August. As you possess new land, you can make this your verse that you will speak and repeat and it will help you. The Bible says, you shall hide them in the secret place of your presence. From the plot of man, you shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. The word strife of tongues, that the tongues that bite the tongues that speak, the tongues that attack through speaking, the Lord will hide them. We will be hidden in a, in a present from the plots of men. People are plotting against you every day of your life. Thank God he has hidden me. Thank God he has hidden you. I have come to promise you that no matter how many accusers have stood against you, there is a place of hiding. God is God is so God God is God is so concerned about you that He has created a pavilion. He has created a presence. He has hidden you from the uh, he, has, he has hidden you from the strife of tongues. People who uses their tongue to attack to destroy, to finish, to, uh, to cripple, and to frustrate, and to ashamed, and embarrass, and to disgrace. Those people, I have come to you to let you know that there is a hiding place where accusation cannot, pa cannot penetrate. There is a place they cannot survive. There is a place they cannot, they cannot break through because we have become above accusation. And the accusation go and bounce back. It is like somebody putting on a bulletproof that you can shoot them, but the bullet will the bullet will divert into another direction because there is a there is a bulletproof, there are accusation proof. The accusation proof is the is the secret place where God has hidden his righteous men and women. And I want to remind somebody listening to me that you have been under accusation, counter accusation and accusation. I want to remind you, your prayer should be very simple. Oh God, hide me in your pavilion where the tongues of strife will not penetrate. There is a place God can hide you and there is no accusation that can penetrate and every accusation will go back and destroy the accuser instead of the accused in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know, I want you to know, you can be immune, insulated from the strife of tongues. You can be immune 
uninsulated from the strife of tongue. There are men and women that, 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 that there, are, there are men and women that are naysayers and gainsayers where they cannot access, access. They cannot be able to penetrate. They cannot be able to reach where, where you are. The accusation cannot go beyond a certain point in the name of the Lord. They have risen beyond, the, you have risen beyond contradiction. You, God has reached you to a place that accusation will bounce back. What you say about them, what you say about those people you are accusing, it doesn't count. Nobody believes in you. In fact, people doubt you, what you are talking about, because God has raised a standard of his son. Evil talkers can only thrive to an extent. If you are an evil talker, you have a certain extent that you cannot go beyond. And every accuser, I want you to know that you have, a, you have an extent you cannot pass. You can go and go, but there is a place, there is no, there is no through road. There is no through way. The way you meet a sign and say, there is no through way. A time comes to some servant of God, and when you want to attack them, or you want to fight them, you meet a priest saying, there is no through way through this man, through this woman. Why? He is insulated. He is insured of the blood of Jesus. Every accusation shall bounce back to the sender, to the accuser in the name of the Lord. Defamatory talks, defamatory talks, is become divine advertisement of the same person, of the same person. The person you are accusing, that same accusation become an advertisement of God's elect. The people that God has anointed, they become, they become advertised by your accusation. They become more known, they become more popular, they, be, they, they are demands more, they reach places they could have not reached until you spoke because you thought you are bringing them down, but you lifted them up because they have reached a bad accusation. And I pray, may the Lord lift you up to a pavilion where accusers cannot penetrate in the name of Jesus Christ. 2020, this month of, of, of possessing the land, may the accuser be frustrated. May all the accusers that have been accusing you from January to July, no, they cannot penetrate the mouth of others to accuse you. It shall backfire on them. It shall fight back on them. You are insulated. You have been given, you have been hidden in a sacred place where striving tongues cannot succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know, I want you to know, I know what, uh, well, I, I know what, what I'm talking about. I want you to know, I know what I'm talking about. When I talk about that you can be insulated, you can rise above accusation. People can gather and talk against you and they remain ashamed and embarrassed and disgraced because the way they are talking, they have no, they have no legal, legal acceptance by to the people they are talking to, to the glory of God. Bad mouthing, that is bad mouthing against servants of God. It has a count, it is counterproductive. It will counterproduct, produce an attack to the bad mouther in the name of the Lord. And the only thing that you will gain by bad mouthing certain person, it is getting a bad smell of your mouth. I am telling you the truth. Accusers are in danger. You will talk, 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 and there is nothing that you gain from there. Because there is a problem. You have you are, you are been assigned demonically and you'll be tired. The men you see walking uprightly, fighting many battles, doing a lot of work. They have spent a lot of years in preparation. They have been they have, they have invested resources. They have they have built a strong relationship over the years. They have connect, they have done networks and connection. I guarantee you, it will not take one, it will not take a bad mouth for them to go down. It will, it will take, it will take, it will not take, it will not take. God has hidden them somewhere. There is a place they belong and they don't have to talk to you. That place will answer you. That place has uh, have been insulated, they have been insulated. And I want you to know what who God has, who, who God has blessed. No man can cast. I want you to know if you are an accuser, if God has blessed that sister, if God has blessed that brother, if God has blessed that pastor, if God has blessed that young man, if God has blessed that, that great man of God,
God, I guarantee you, you cannot curse him. Because the, those God has blessed, you cannot curse. And you cannot curse. You just waste your time. And I want you to know who God has lifted up. No man can pull down. If you, have been, if you have been assigned to pull a man that God has lifted up, you have, that is your mission. That is your assignment from the kingdom of darkness. That is your, that is your, that is your, that is your job. That is your job description from the evil world to go and pull down a man or a woman that God has lifted up. You cannot pull that person down. If God lifted him up, you cannot bring him down. Your accusation will backfire to you. It will fight back to you in the name of the Lord. Well, I have said again, who God has lifted up, no man can pull down. And I want you to know, when God decides, human values become inconsequential. When God decide, when God have decided, I have blessed this young man, I have blessed this pastor, I have blessed this church, I have blessed this business, I have blessed this family, I have opened a door for this man, I have lifted up this man, I guarantee you, any human verdict become null and void and of none effect in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know where you are, God has given his verdict. The verdict of men are useless. The verdict of men cannot hold water. The verdict of men cannot see the light of the day. Accusers, your time is over. You have accused for many years. It is time to repent. It is time to go back and consider your evil assignment and turn to God for God's mercy and grace to change you because some people have listened about accusation. Your accusation, your, your accusation may not produce any result. It can only destroy you in the name of the Lord. And I want you to understand this. If you have a yes from Jesus, let the whole world give you a no. They will not triumph. I'm, I'm listening to, I'm talking to you this morning, that if you have a yes from Jesus, let the whole world give you a no. They will not triumph. And you will still triumph. You will triumph. You will come out victorious. The world will not measure your success. It is God who have decided it. The world can only talk what they see. They cannot create what they see. They just talk. The people talking, they don't know where you have come from. The people arguing, are arguing about you. They have no idea your connection with the heavenly, or your heavenly connection and your intimate connection with God. I want you to understand that God is so faithful. God is so faithful. God is faithful that he will not allow what he is doing to be interfered by an accuser in the name of the Lord. I'll read another scripture, but I want you to understand. You can, you can be above accusation when God is committed. And I pray God is committed in your family. God is committed in your life. God is committed in your assignment. Listen to me and listen to me very good. God is committed to you. You can rise above accusation. I came to talk to you today. I've been talking about accusation the whole of this week, the whole of the week from Sunday to today. And today I'm coming to the close of my sermon. And I want you to understand. I want you to understand as we did, as we did from the book of now, as we read from the book of John chapter 3 and verses 30. John chapter 3 and verses 30. John 3 and verses 30. The Bible says, He must increase. But I must decrease. This is John the Baptist saying that Jesus must increase and John must decrease. And then verses 31, I love it. Verses 31 say, He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speak of the earth. He who comes from the heaven is above all. Did you hear that? That he who comes from above is above all, is above your accusation, is above your sentiment, is above your verdict, is above your opinion, it is above your resolution, even if you are wishes and you are gathered together to make a witch against, against my destiny, against my family, against my children, against my ministry, I want you to know, he who comes from above is above you, is above all, is above your meeting, is above your decision, is above your, your scheme, is above your achievement.
shrewdness, is above your cunningness, is above your deception, is above your lies. I will be talking very soon, in, a, in, in the course of time, I'll be talking about liars. How many liars we find in the Bible? And what was the well, and what was the reward of liars? And what and how much cost they had to pay because for becoming a liar? And, and I want you to understand: He who comes from above is above all. He is above your he is above your lies. He is above your accusation. He is above and above. I guarantee you to I, I guarantee you this morning. Jesus is above all. The Bible clearly says from the book of from the book of uh, Philippians chapter three and verses nine, uh, and, and from verses nine, Philippians chapter three and verses nine. The Bible says, "And found him not." Philippians three verses nine, uh, verses ten. Let's go to verses ten. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his servant being conformed, being conformed to his death. Uh, can we go to verses 2, uh, chapter 2, verses 9? Chapter 2, verses 9. Yes, chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, verses 9. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name which is above every name. The name of Jesus is, the name, is above the name of the accuser. The name of Jesus is the, above the name of the covenant of wishes. The name of Jesus is above the name of the councils of elders seeker to discuss in a legal way a person's destiny. The name of Jesus is above the power and the spread of COVID-19. That name is above. And he gave him a name that is above every other name. Call it COVID, the name of Jesus is above that name. Call it, call it accuser, the name of Jesus is above the accuser. In the name of the Lord. He gave him a name that is above every name. I don't know what is your name. Whether you have been called a king. Whether you have been called a director. Whether you have been called a manager. Whether you have been called whatever name, the title or position or office they have given you. I want you to know there is a name. When we mention it, your name becomes simple and small and not important. Your name becomes below because there is a name that is above your office. There is a name that is above your name. There is a name that is above your institution. That name is which that will silence every accuser from the north and from the south, from the east and from the west. I come to you in the name of the Lord. I don't care the office. I don't care the name. I don't care the voice you are talking about. I am coming to you, you my accuser, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. Verse 10 says, the next verse says, what does the next verse say? The next verse says this, look at this. The Bible says, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth. Listen to me, if you are an accuser, whether you are a spirit being, in the heaven. Even you are a spiritual being under the earth, you are under the grave. You appear when people sleep. Whether you are on the earth, wherever you are, wherever you are, you shall bow at this name. I, I stand by the anointing upon my life. And I stand by the anointing in the word of the living God. The word that is sharper than any two-sided sword. The word that is powerful. The word that is able to divide the, the bone and the marrow. I stand here today in the name of the Lord to declare. Every voice of an accuser shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ. I command accusers to bow in the name of Jesus. I break their tentacles. I destroy their evil spread. I silence their voices from the air, from the earth, and under the earth. And in the name of Jesus, I scatter the gathering of accusers. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free from demonic accusation. And I release an anointing that set you free from the heart and the grip of accusers. In the mighty name of Jesus, this beautiful morning, may the heart of God be stretched upon your life. And may every accuser.
Jesus have given us your destiny. May they be silenced for once and all. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from any demonic bondage of accusation. I break the backbone of the accuser. In the name of Jesus, I approve their operation in their offices, in their street, in their sacred place. Wherever they meet, we scatter them by that day. In the name of Jesus, we declare an angel, a guardian angel, to be around your life, to guard you against the accusers. Every nation, an assignment of accuser shall be broken and destroyed. I study here today, this morning, to break the force of the accuser. Every force of the accuser is hereby stripped its power. In the name of Jesus Christ, I strip your accuser's power. In the name of the Lord, I frustrate them. I release shame. I release disgrace. I release embarrassment against your accuser, upon your accusers. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is powerful. And the name that is above every other name, the name that is above those things in heaven, those things on the earth, and those things under the, under the earth. Verses 11 says what? Verses 11 says what? The verse, the verse 11 says, what does it say? And every time, hey, hallelujah, every time we are talking about the strife of the tongue, and you see the word tongue again here. The Bible is saying, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father, to the glory of God the Father. Every time, even the accuser will confess that Jesus is Lord. I come to you, accuser, and tell you, the earlier you confess, the better and the easier and the, and, the, and the safer you are. If you are an accuser, may God deliver you. If people have, have been training and schooling you to be an accuser, leave that school. Rules, cancel your admission to the school of accusation. Don't allow, don't get into a company of accusers. Get free from accusers. Accusers accusers last word is execution and they have their destiny is destruction and i come to you to declare to you we are above accusation now in the name of the lord god is anointing you to be above the accuser whatever they say will advertise you and they shall be frustrated don't don't listen to the accuser their days are over we are going to possess new love in the name of the Lord. I want you to know, and I have seen people, I have seen some church members, church, church leaders, church pastors, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 assuming the ministry of accusation for kingdom dignitaries, for kingdom men and women of God. And I, and, and, and only way I can say, it is unfortunate that you have, you can accuse a minister, a known head of the Holy Spirit. You can, and I tell you, God has, God is so jealous about his servant. God is so jealous about his servant. And if you don't know, I want you to know today that God is jealous about his servant. Very few people can sacrifice to serve God. Those few that are sacrificing to serve him, don't touch them. God has protected them with a divine inspiration and protection. It is a spiritual ignorance to pull down who God lifted up because it is like a personal suicidal mission. It is like just a personal suicidal mission to try to pull down what God has, has, has lifted up. All campaign against God's servant always end in shame and embarrassment and, and, and disgrace. And there are some mission, and these are a mission that are suicidal. And I want you to know, if the heart of God is on that man or that woman, Please stay clear and off because it shall be not be, it will not it shall not be business as usual. Psalms 109 starting from verse 6. Psalms 109 starting from verse 6. The Bible says, I finish up by this word. The Bible says, um, let's start from verse 5. If I can say so. Mm. Verse 5. I'm finishing up with this one and then we are done. Or you can start verse 1. We can just start verse 1. Let's start verse 1 quickly and read it and we see what God says. Uh, do not keep silent, O God, of my praise. Do not keep silent, O God, of my praise. Verses 2. For the mouth of the wicked 
and the mouth of the deceptive have opened against me. Those are the accusers. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. I told you I'll be talking about liars. They have, been, they have spoken against me with a lying tongue. Why people lie is to show other people how bad you are. But this is David praying a prayer that those wicked men, those wicked women, those wicked personality, because if you are speaking against a person, you are a wicked person. Let's go to verses 3. And wickedness is dangerous. They have also surrounded me with the words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. They have surrounded me with the words of hatred and fought against me without, without a cause. There is no reason why they are fighting me. They have no, there is no, there is nothing I have done that want them to fight me. But they have decided because this person is growing up, is, is, is gaining ground, is possessing new places, because this person is expanding, is growing, that we shall fight him so that we can pull him down. This is what, this is the case of accusers. This is the motivation of an accuser. He doesn't want to see somebody bombing up. Let's go to verses 4. Verses 4 says, In return of, in return for my love, they are my accusers. In return of my love, for my love, they are my accusers. But I give myself to prayer. The worst, the most, the most, we, the weapon you can use when you are under accusation is to pray. Pray and scatter them. And we shall pray and we shall scatter them today in the name of the Lord. It shall be well. We shall scatter them. We shall scatter them in the name of the Lord. I am telling you, we shall scatter them to the glory of God. What does the Bible say? Verses 5. Thus they have rewarded evil for good and hatred for my love. Let's go to verse 6. This is now what David wishes for the accusers. May it happen to your accusers. Set a wicked man over him and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become seen. Let his day be filled and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vulnerable and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditor seize all that he has and let stranger plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him. No, let there be any to any to favor his father's children. Let his posterity be cut off and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the seed of his mother be blotted out. Let them be continually before the Lord, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even save the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. As he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with the cursing as with a, his garment, so let it enter his body like water and like oil into his bone. Let it be to him like the garment which covers and for a belt which he guard himself continually. Let this be the Lord reward to my accuser. Let this be the Lord's reward to my accuser and to those who speak evil against my person. But you, O oh God, deal with me for your name's sake, because you have your mercy, because, because your mercy is good and deliver me. Hallelujah. This is enough. I don't have to continue from there. And I want you to know, when God has anointed somebody, your opinion is not needed in, in this matter. And don't meddle with the things beyond you. And I want you to understand, I want you to understand that it is important for you 
to, uh, to know that God will reward the wicked and the accuser. May the Lord deliver you from the heart of the accuser. Evil arrows against my life and my ministry and against you and your life. May those arrows be sent back to the sender in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, turn my accuser to my advertisers from this day forward in the name of the Lord. I receive immunity. I receive immunity from my accusers insulated by the blood of Jesus. They cannot succeed in Jesus' name. May the Lord richly bless you. I've been speaking to you about accusation for a whole week. And I know you have caught something. And I want you to know, accusation is dangerous. Never join an accuser, no matter how good that person is to you. Remember that God is not a respecter of person. Every accuser shall scatter, and it shall scatter without fail in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May you see good. May you never lack. May God help you to fight accusers and never to join accusation in the name of Jesus. You are blessed from the top of your head to the toe of your feet. I want to give you an opportunity to pray for you. I want to pray for you today. Maybe you have been an accuser without knowing. Your work has been to bring down listening story of other successful people, of fighting pastors and fighting men and women of God. You are an evil. Your tongue has been turned into a tongue of strife. I want to pray for mercy for you. I want to pray for mercy for you. I want to pray for the grace of God for you. I want to pray that God will remember you. I want to pray God will forget whatever whatever has been happening to you. And from today, you are turning into a new person who will be able to fight and oppose accusation. Accusation has caused so many great men never to succeed in life. They have lost opportunity to become successful. It has caused many young people, old people, ministers of the gospel, because of jealousy and accusation, their ministry have died and they have not been able to grow. I want you to know it is, a, it is your time. This prayer will change you. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of your son Jesus, I want to pray for the man and the woman and the person that is watching and listening to me this morning. I commit them to you and declare that all it shall be well. As I pray this beautiful morning, I release an anointing of healing. I release mercy and grace. I release your love that restore. May every sentiment of accusation be broken today. Any connection of this man and woman in, in accusation, any place that they have been, they have been, they have been tied, uh, tied and bound by wicked men, I command them free. And I declare they are free from today. And in the name of Jesus, I break the spirit of the accuser. Silence it from the, from the roots. I command it to dry forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, so shall it be. God bless you. God do you good. And God favor you. May you be saved. May you come to Jesus. May you love. May you live for God. I want to give you an opportunity to bless the Lord. You can give a sacrifice. You can give a sacrifice and tell God, I'm giving a sacrifice, a peace offering. I'm giving a sacrifice to, I'm giving a sacrifice. I'm paying my tithe. I'm, I'm giving my offering. I'm also giving a sacrifice for God to deliver me, for God to deliver me from the bondage of accusers. Because you have met yourself that you've been put into a platform of accusation without knowing. And life has been so difficult for you. I want to remind you, you can give a sacrifice and you can be set free. From the, from the, from the platform, you can see our M-Pesa number. And you can see Lipan M-Pesa. You can see our number 538268. Give a sacrifice and let's see what God can do with you and for you and to you. You will never, ever be the same again. I see you in the future looking much more better than you look like now. Don't forget that the month of August is our month of possessing new land. Let us possess this new land together with you. In Jesus' name, so shall it be.